the Perseverance oh, rover headed to Mars, ready to ride a column of fire and smoke on its way to the Red Planet. 10 starships, no astronauts, 120 robots, and their destination, Mars. What previously seemed like a sci-fi movie is now fast becoming a reality. Mars won't greet humans first, it'll welcome robots. Built to work on their own, they'll prepare the surface for future crews. No hearts, no lungs, just code, steel, and AI. These robots will build the first base, generate power, grow food, and even make rocket fuel. They'll do the heavy lifting so the first astronauts can focus on living, exploring, and surviving. This is the robotic age of Mars. Let's take a closer look at how machines could turn a distant planet into a new home for humans. Keep following. The first missions to Mars might not carry people, but payloads of promise. Towering starships will land one after another on the Martian surface, each delivering a carefully packed team of robotic systems. There won't be any crew members stepping out. Instead, inside these ships are machines, powered down, silent, waiting for the Martian environment to activate their systems. Their first task isn't building or digging, but syncing up. Drones launch into the thin atmosphere to scan for hazards and map the terrain. Ground robots begin setting up a local communication network, linking with satellites above and surface rovers nearby. And because Earth is up to 21 minutes away by signal, remote control isn't an option. These robots must act on their own, in real time. No human hands on the controls means no waiting for commands, just machines, powered up, linked together, and ready to get to work. Mars won't pause, and neither will they. Nothing starts without logistics. Robots begin transporting equipment and supplies from the landing zone to a chosen base site, located a couple of kilometers away. Why this distance? It's far enough to avoid damage from future rocket landings, yet close enough to stay energy efficient. As the machines roll across the terrain, their wheels press into the soft Martian soil, slowly compacting it into firm, usable tracks. Without even trying, their building the planet's first road. At the center of the new zone, the first structure goes up, a modular storage unit. It's not built for people, but to protect critical tools and equipment from the Martian environment. Freezing air, gritty dust, and harsh sunlight. High above, survey drones map the land in real time, guiding builder bots on the ground with detailed topography and coordinates. A robotic colony is starting to rise, one task at a time. The power system. Power is the lifeblood of every action. Solar panels, built for the harsh Martian environment, are rolled out and secured into the ground. Unlike ordinary panels, these are smart arrays, each one capable of tracking the Martian sun as it arcs across the sky. Some even feature dust clearing mechanisms to maintain peak efficiency in an environment where cleanliness is survival. The energy they harvest is funneled into two separate battery systems, one to power the stationary structures and another to energize the mobile workforce. Instead of heading back to recharge, Robots in the field stay active, thanks to fresh battery packs brought to them by dedicated carrier bots. It's a solar-powered system, built for efficiency and continuous work. Division of Labor On Mars, every robot has a specific role, some straightforward, others highly advanced. Transporters and haulers follow set routes, carrying equipment and supplies across the outpost. Excavators and loaders dig trenches, shape the terrain, and prepare the foundations for new structures. Builder bots use robotic arms and precision tools to assemble prefabricated components with coordinated accuracy. Survey drones fly overhead, constantly scanning the landscape and providing real-time updates on elevation, hazards, and shifting layouts. The most advanced of the group, AI manipulators, can adapt to unexpected situations make autonomous decisions, and even perform on-the-spot repairs when something goes wrong. Some machines are intentionally kept simple, easy to fix and reliable under pressure. Others are complex and designed to handle problems independently. Working together, they form a smooth, self-regulating system. This is smart automation, working together to build a new world. Communication Hub at the center of the base stands a sleek geodesic dome 
the brain of the mission, the communications hub. Inside, rows of processors, routers, and antenna arrays coordinate the flow of information between machines, orbiting satellites, and Earth-based mission control. It functions as the digital brain of the outpost, managing software updates, data storage, weather alerts, and system diagnostics. But more than a command center, this hub acts as a lifeline. If anything goes wrong, power fluctuations, structural faults, or dust storm warnings, it's the first to know and the first to respond. In a world without humans, this dome becomes the colony's nerve center, the place where coordination equals survival, repair and maintenance crew, even the most advanced systems break down, but on Mars, there's no repairman coming from Earth. That's why a specialized crew of support bots handles diagnostics and repair. Some roam the site with toolkits and spare parts, able to patch up minor malfunctions on the spot. Others tow malfunctioning units back to on-site robotic workshops for more extensive repairs. Dedicated bots clean the dust off solar panels, maintain wiring, and reinforce weakened joints. When storms roll in, clear shelter domes pop into place, protecting key systems from freezing winds and dust. These robots aren't just fixing things, they're keeping the mission alive. Farming and Material Processing Farms on Mars? Absolutely. Inside climate-controlled domes, vertical gardens stretch upward in multiple layers and trays, each one lit by soft LEDs, growing life where none existed before. Here, agricultural robots manage the life cycle of each plant, from seed to harvest. They track nutrient levels, monitor humidity, and make real-time adjustments for optimal growth. But food is just one product. These crops, rich in sugars, are processed into a bio-glue. When combined with Martian soil, this substance becomes a type of printable concrete. It allows robots to 3D print custom structures directly from the ground they stand on. It's a simple cycle, grow, build, and reuse. A practical system for long-term sustainability on Mars. Fuel for the future. Reaching Mars is just the start. Returning home is another journey altogether. That's why production kicks off early. Mining bots drill into the surface to access subsurface ice. This water is extracted, purified, and then split into hydrogen and oxygen using electrolysis. Meanwhile, carbon dioxide is pulled directly from the Martian atmosphere. In specialized Sabatier reactors, it's combined with hydrogen to create methane, the fuel needed for rocket engines. This process, known as in situ to resource utilization, ISRU, is critical. It transforms local resources into mission-critical supplies. With this system in place, Mars becomes not just a destination, but a launch pad. Preparing for people. Once the foundation is stable, the focus shifts to humans. Large robotic arms, mounted on mobile platforms, begin printing thick, radiation-resistant shells using compacted Martian soil. Inside these protective shells, inflatable living modules are placed and expanded, turning into fully functional habitats. Each one comes pre-equipped with essential systems, pressurized airlocks, oxygen generation, water filtration, and thermal control. Every seal, circuit, and connection is tested by robots before any human arrives. Redundancy is built in. Safety is the top priority. When astronauts finally land, they'll step into a home that's already prepared for life on Mars. Food, life support, and expansion. As the population grows, so must the capacity to sustain it. Farming scales up. More racks, more trays, more automation. Crops are monitored by AI systems that track yields, analyze growth rates, and predict shortages. Surplus harvests are vacuum sealed and frozen by cold storage bots, creating a buffer supply. Water is recycled through filtration loops. Air is scrubbed and replenished. Every new structure links back to the power grid, the data hub, and the support systems. Bit by bit, the outpost transforms into a self-reliant ecosystem. Testing with humanoid robots. Before human feet touch Martian soil, humanoid robots take the first steps. These life-sized machines act as avatars, walking the corridors, testing suits, operating controls, and making sure everything works exactly as it should before humans arrive. They stress test every function of the habitat and expose design flaws that would be dangerous for real people. Think of them as the stunt doubles of space exploration, risking themselves so humans don't have to. Before the first astronaut arrives, Robots will have constructed shelters, generated power, farmed food, processed water, 
made fuel, and even built and repaired themselves. Through thousands of independent but coordinated actions, they will have made a once hostile world habitable. This isn't just a story of machines, it's the blueprint of human expansion into the solar system. Mars will become our second home, not because we conquered it, but because we sent robots to prepare the way. If you're fascinated by this glimpse into our cosmic future, be sure to like and subscribe. The future of space tech on Earth and beyond are just a click away.